Okay guys, welcome back to All Nerd Everything, and today I wanted to discuss the recent episode of Penguin, episode 4, and so far this is my favorite episode of the series, Kristen Milioti, I don't know why it took me so long for her to get on my radar, she is a phenomenal actress, let me just say, I, I just got done working out, which is why I'm still wearing my workout fit i had to record this immediately because i absolutely love this episode and i feel like it i could not wait to discuss this i'm going to have to re i'm going to have to re-watch this episode because it was so damn good now kristen miliati as sophia Falco, she could have easily felt in in the you know in the in the category with all the other, you know, stereotypical villains in in the Batman Rogues Gallery, but I like how they humanize her and she is very sympathetic and you feel a lot of empathy for her, especially with this episode showing her time before, during and after and after Arkham. Now before Kristen Milioti does an excellent job at playing, you know, the daddy's little girl um, part, and also the 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 traumatized, like you know, haunting mob boss's daughter, and I think she the the way she's able to change between you know, characters, how you see her from in the beginning of the episode as the sweet, innocent daughter of this mob boss and after her time in Arkham to this, you know, emotionally, mentally broken person who lost her smile and her hope a long time ago. It is truly spectacular. After she find after Sophia finds out that her father might have had something to do with her mother's death, which is which was a very bad idea to bring up to him in the first place, especially on his birthday during a big event with a whole bunch of people around. She is framed by him saying they're saying that that she murdered this reporter and several other women and they're dubbing her the hangman and a lot of people are buying into this narrative that she's mentally ill and she has to do six months in Arkham and she'll get a plea deal but that six months turns into 10 years and no one was there for her at all no one was there for her except her brother and, you know, everyone gaslighted her and stabbed her in the back and made her feel like she was mentally insane. And she wasn't. Uh, she wasn't the monster that everyone dubbed her as going into Arkham. But she definitely was coming out of Arkham. And that's mainly due to the mental... The the mental toll that Arkham took on her. And I have a feeling that a lot of the doctors and a lot of the people that were running Arkham were on her dad's, on her dad's payroll because the amount of stuff that they got away with doing to Sophia's, they, they made it seem like she was a freaking lab rat and I felt so freaking terrible for her and what happened at the end of the episode everyone got their comeuppance and let me just say Kristen Milioti in that yellow dress whoo I'm not gonna lie I did not know she had all that jump in that trunk and as far as Oswald goes Penguin he he has always been a rat even when he was working with Carmine Falcone he's always been a rat but i can't wait to see what the rest of the series has going on forward but this so far is the best episode of the 
series thus far and I have a feeling it's going to get better and better because so far we have not had a miss and Kristen Milioti is there's a lot of times I feel like she's a step above um uh I'm blanking Colin Farrell and Colin Farrell is phenomenal but they gel really well together and Kristen Milioti has so much range give her Give that woman an Emmy or a Golden Globe for her performance in the show because she is so phenomenal. I rate this episode a 5 out of 5, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next review.